What's going on, y'all? It's day one. Yesterday was zero, zero, zero. Day zero, zero, zero. Choosing what I'm gonna do for these next 21 days of straight videos. So, with these 21 days, I don't plan out, you know, I mean, I think of some things, but like, I don't really plan out what I'm gonna say. I just kinda come off rip and I edit it and then I, I go ahead and, and send it off and upload it to y'all. But man, man oh man, understand, understand, understand. So what we're gonna talk about today is the difference between, I think I already mentioned this in my previous video, I think my last video, the difference between no fap and the semen retention. Now these last 63 days, um, I did do semen retention, which means you're able to, you know, masturbate but without ejaculation. You're able to have sex but without ejaculation. Now, going to no fat. No fat is no masturbation at all and watching no pornography. You can have sexual intercourse and you can ejaculate. So, that's that. I mean, um, if you guys want to debate it, go ahead and comment below or whatnot. But that is my understanding, that's my interpretation of it, cut and dry. Now, when you're on semen retention, you are watching, you're, you're able to watch. I mean, I don't recommend it, I don't do it personally, but you are able to watch pornography. And the reason I don't watch pornography particularly, just is honestly, is because of the dopamine release. And to be honest, I'm married, that shit would fuck up my relationship in the long term. Now, most people look at this and they're like, this shouldn't have no effect on your relationship. Da -da 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 -da. When you constantly see the woman, the ideal woman that society portrays, right? You constantly see these big booties, these big titties, and then, you know what I mean? So you're going to be in a constant mode. Your brain, your mind doesn't know the difference if it's there in actuality or it's behind a screen. You know what I mean? Like, it can't tell the difference when you're working out if you're sick or if you're working out. Like, your body will start, your endocrine system start producing dopamine and all this other bullshit and doesn't know the difference. Now, say if you go... Like me, all right, perfect example, like me. I probably watched porn for five years when I was in my teenage, teenage 15 through 20, 21, 22. So probably like five, 10 years, you know what I mean? What that did for me was, it's not so much what my, my partner or whatever, my spouse, it's just like, you know, like, is this it? You know what I mean? You kind of like, is that, is that, is that it? Is that, is that all there is to it? Because you're constantly seeing a woman on a screen that's just not realistic it's not your it's not it's not yours so you're kind of trespassing spiritually you know if you don't if you don't believe in spirituality that's on you that's y'all choice but me personally spiritually when you're trespassing think about it if you're thinking about someone that you want to have intercourse with mentally and you're thinking you're fantasizing and then you go see that person in in person, are you gonna be able to genuinely look at them them in their face and like, yo, I didn't just, you know, do some nasty stuff to you in my mind in the bathroom. You know what I mean? So you gotta be aware of these things that you're trespassing on someone else's uh, spiritual realm. You know what I mean? When you're watching these porns, that's what you're doing. You're trespassing on someone. Even if they, they grant it, you're still trespassing because the person doesn't know you. The person didn't allow you in physically and they didn't allow you in spiritually. So you didn't really give you permission. They did something for money that is considered a job, right? And they sold you that. Well, they didn't sell it to you. They just kind of put it on a site. They paid the actor. They paid the act. They paid the act to fake something so you can feel something. Now that was a whole bunch of jumbo manjo, <laughs> a jumbo mumbo, right? So like, when you're watching pornography, it's fake. And when you're doing your thing, you think you're being genuine to yourself, but you're being fake. You know what I mean? So that's my take on the whole situation. The no whole, the whole no fat 
especially you young guys, like, I would do semen retention first. And that's what I did do. Like, I didn't do the no fat, like, right off the bat. Like, a lot of y'all still got issues stopping, like, right off the bat. I mean, some of y'all just gung-ho and y'all just stop completely and just don't jerk off and stop watching porno. And that's good on you. But for you guys that are struggling out there, like, don't feel alone. This is not just you. Everybody's going through this. Everybody goes through this part. Some people worse than others. Some people better than, you know what I mean? But don't feel ashamed because you're going through right now. You're going through the struggle. So what's happening is you have created a habit of feeling genuine, right? Because when you're about to go express yourself, that's when you're your most genuine self. You're butt naked. You're doing your thing, right? The woman on the screen isn't judging you. The guy on the screen isn't judging you. Or the girl and the girl. Or the guy and the guy is not judging you on the screen. So you're at your most genuine self. And you get a dopamine release off of that. You get a high. You're like, damn, I like that. But I don't know what I really like. You like the fact that you're being real. You're able to be butt naked. Be you. You right? And then on top of that, you're getting a little bump. So when you go through that, you know, say, say you did that right now. Right? Tomorrow, around this same time, you're going to have a dopamine release. That's going to want the same thing that you did the previous day. You know what I mean? And the more you do it, the more it's going to require that release. You know what I mean? The more you do it, the more it's going to require that release. But say you do it today, but then you don't do it tomorrow. And then you don't do it the other following day. And then you get over that three-day hump. Now that dopamine, that, that release that your body's craving, doesn't want it as bad. Meaning... Like it does, like it starts deadening down. You know what I mean? Like you probably feel frustrated, you probably feel aggravated. You, you know what I mean? You probably feel some type of weight, but it will die down. That craving will die down little by little. It's a difficult one, but little by little, it will, it will die down. So you got to be mindful of what you watch. If you're watching, if you know that half naked girls get you to a certain point or puts you in a certain place in your life maybe you shouldn't put yourself in position where you're watching shit like that two you have too much fucking time on your hands you're spending way too much screen time on your screen on your phone you're not completing enough throughout the day you know what i mean you're not doing you you're not working probably right you're probably at the crib your crib is not probably cleaned up your room's probably not cleaned up. You're not probably smelling good. You don't, you're not, you know, you're not probably, you're not doing other things to keep your mind busy. You're spending too much time on this screen or too much time on the video game or too, get outside, do something different. You're going to have to pick up a different habit that gives you a dopamine release, but in the positive direction. Maybe it's learning more about what you're passionate about. You know what I mean? Maybe you're passionate about basketball. Go run, you know, play some basketball. You may be passionate about playing tennis. Go play some tennis. Go work out. Do something to exchange for that beaten off session. That's This is called transmuting. You know what I mean? But for you guys that are struggling, man, keep your heads up. If I were y'all, I would write down what you want. And how long you want to go for it. But why? Ask yourself why seven times. Be like, why do I jerk off? Because it feels good. Why does it feel good? Because I'm able to be my most genuine self. Why is it important for you to feel your most genuine self? Because I feel like I'm the real me. You know? And then you keep going why. But don't go more past, don't go past seven. There's some reason. Don't ask why more than seven times. I don't know why. It's just something that, that kind of, um just works that way you know what i mean if you guys have any more questions go ahead and comment below uh hit that bell's notification that does help hit that like baby or hit that dislike i just want some energy from you baby um i'm gonna go ahead and post this right now hair's looking crazy oh yeah and this whole uh that your hair gets darker my hair is still thin i did like 60 days maybe i gotta do more but i think that's just all riffraff to be real with y'all um yeah man um let's let's come up with some ideas guys there's 105 subscribers which i appreciate every single one of y'all let's get 105 likes for this video 
and let's get 105 views. <laughs> 105 comments too. Peace.